Yes, Ken and Emily. So this all began as a theft call from a home near Hag Lake. It then turned into an hours long manhunt and ultimately a shootout. So a family first called authorities and said that a man had stole their guns and then ran off into the woods. And so then Deputies used police dogs. They had the air support team, the tactical teams all out to find him. Hours later, bullets were exchanged. Two deputies were shot, and that armed man was hit. He actually continued running despite being injured, and authorities caught him half an hour later. So we talked to witnesses and deputies as this scene unfolded. It's extremely unfortunate that you have uh, officers involved in that are hurt. Um, anytime that you have a serious uh, incident like that, it, it definitely makes you uh, think about your surroundings a little more. I'm sure I'll look back at this day as probably the worst day of my professional career. And both Washington County deputies were taken to the hospital for their injuries, and the armed man underwent surgery. As of this morning, the sheriff hasn't released the names of the deputies or the armed man in this case. All we know is that he had uh, camouflage on, was a white man, and in his 30s or 40s. So we are expecting another update today, so we'll let you know. But for now, reporting live, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Thank you very much, Elise. This morning, we are working to learn the condition of those three people who were shot. One of the deputies being treated for serious injuries at OHSU, another deputy with non-life-threatening injuries. We have seen a flood of prayers and thoughts and encouragement pour in to our law enforcement family and the family of the injured deputies. And I just thank our community for their support. Now, the suspect was transported to Legacy Emanuel Medical Center, where he underwent surgery. It's unclear what his condition is. Their identities have not yet been released. Now, this is a developing story. Look for updates here on COIN and online at COIN.com.